Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. Probably a month ago I posted on Reddit and a guy sent me a private message and asked my help for a friend who lives in New York. Just like regularly I asked some pictures. When he sent me those pictures I knew for this cleaning I will need two days. The owner who lives here is a 61 years old guy and he has bipolar depression. Bipolar depression is a little different than regular depression. For me, the point is the bathroom. Look at these guys. Bipolar other's name is maniac depression. Some days you are want to change the world. Some days you can't even get out from the bed. Bipolar depression can be cured. It can be better with the medicine and medical supervision, but if the patient don't take the medicine, the symptoms return. But I think this is enough of this. When I started to clean the bathroom, I just realized this bathroom won't be the most amazing bathroom, not even if I clean, but at least it will be clean as much as possible. I was very, very worried about why the water is not floating down and I always worry when I see the water is just standing in the bathtub because probably I can solve the problem because I am not enough but in this case I just solved the problem I just wanted to make sure we're not gonna have problem with this bathtub and with the water floating down or not so I just use extra drain cleaner. First I remove this old curtain. And I spray it all over with scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner spray. I tried to use my best friend the scraper but I just realized this little tool is now really helpful here. You can see here I'm using a blue scraper and later I'm gonna use an other blue scraper in the kitchen and I want to let you know that's not the same scraper guys but I just didn't show in the video. For now I'm using a CLR lime, calcium and rust cleaner and the drill cleaner. I didn't use a drill cleaner for a long time because as you see the water was running non-stop. I couldn't close. Actually I had a lot of lot of problem with the water. Anyway I couldn't close and I was worried about the water will go into the machine and it's gonna destroy. After I just tried to clean the tile and you can see those black thing. I have no idea what is that. Probably is all the duct tape. I sprayed before but it just gave me an extremely hard time and I try my best to clean that down.
You can't say I'm not a fighter because I am. Alright guys, so this is the part where I can sew it because as you see the ties is moving when I pulling down the tape and I mold the silicone all around the bathtub. This is not my job. I can't clean this. For this, need a replace, need to fix it. Super can come or someone who, you know, doing this job can fix it, not me. I just clean as much as possible. So now I'm just using more CLR cleaner and a metal sponge and you know finger crossed and I hope the best is not gonna be perfect. I know. The owner's cousin was very very nice, they bring a brand new toilet seat so I just tried to remove but I, of course I had many many problems because um, one of the part I couldn't move that even if I tried so hard I couldn't do anything so for this job need a man, I am not enough. I know I tell this many many times but this is the truth and check the bathtub out because if you check it out, the water is just getting standing in the bathtub and that's a problem. And I have to apologize again because this bathroom was very very tiny and my camera stand is kind of bigger and I covered a lot of part while I was cleaning the, the toilet so apologize guys you can't see too much how I cleaned but I can tell you what I used I used again the CTR cleaner and comet powder and the metal sponge and be careful with the metal sponge when you're cleaning the toilet seat because it's gonna leave some mark but after uh, with soft scrub or barkeeper's friends it's just can remove the marks so don't worry A 
After inside the toilet, I wanted to clean side of the toilet and unfortunately, um, when I moved all the trash out from the bathroom, I just realized the owner or someone just built a hill next to the toilet. So for this, I couldn't clean well side of the toilet. It was interesting. You can see the water is running more heavy in the bathtub because I opened the hot water and after I just couldn't close. The whole system is very, very old. So I told to the family members, call the super because we just can't leave like this. The water is not floating down. The water is running heavy. It can make very, very big problem and damage for others. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down jumping from cliffs so high trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. At this time the super just arrived and was very very happy because finally um, someone who understands everything with the job arrived but unfortunately he couldn't close the water but at least he helped with the bathtub and the water just floated down. I didn't worry about the sink, it's just yellow because it's old um, and it's dusty because for a long time nobody used. Anyway, I used here a comet powder and regular sponge.
I finished it with a heavy cleaning, I just wrapped up and um, I cleaned the floor a little bit but I feel that's it, I can do more with this bathroom, no. I want to tell you, family members of the owner was very, very wonderful. Even if I offered my help for free, they paid me $500 and they cleaned it with me too. I started to clean the bathroom and they just collected and organized the living room, which is amazing. I kind of felt so bad because they was faster than me. So they organized everything, they removed all the garbage and the next step is cleaning. What do you think? How old is this stove? I didn't check the brand, I didn't check in Google, but it should be very, very old. I sprayed all over with Easy of Degreaser and I let to see a little bit. And yeah, I just tried to clean. This blue scraper is a new scraper, not what I use in the bathroom. Because this stove is very very old and I didn't want to destroy, I wasn't sure if I can remove the buttons and I tried it the first time and it was looks like stuck and I tried again and four buttons came off but the, the oven button is just fixed, you cannot move that. Thank you. 
I didn't play with this thing simply I just washed out the dirt first and after I used comet powder and uh, the metal sponge it was working well so it wasn't necessary to use other products great I was satisfied and I hope you like it We had a short conversation with the family members, they cleaned up the living room and the bedroom so they made a very very excellent job and I told them okay I'm gonna stay over, I will stay a couple of more hours, they just gave me the key and they left so I was cleaning the whole living room and the whole way a little bit. For this cabinet I simply just used um, hot water with a little dish soap and the metal sponge and it was pretty enough. You can ask me why I left those um, black marks but let me tell you again, very very old apartment never seen a um, renovation everything is original so probably this apartment is 100 or 80 years old everything is original i can clean everything very well i am so sorry here i start to clean the dust as much as possible i i didn't move everything from the shelf because he has a lot of lot of things a lot of stuff so to move everything down, clean the dust and back, two days is not enough.
This is the first time when I'm using Power Past and I'm so satisfied. It's a very great product and I will put the link below in the description. I love it. And for the first day, the whole way is the last step. I moved out everything, you know, garbage and step leather and everything. And I used um, a big vacuum to clean up a little bit. And this is how I closed the first day. Actually, I totally forgot. I cleaned it up a little bit, the living room more. I swept up and I used the vacuum again. And this is how I closed the first day. And here we are again. This is a second day morning. This is the last day and for the last day I left the bedroom. This bedroom is amazing. Busy if I can say that. He had a lot of lot of stuff in here. For me this guy is a real genius. He was always thinking and figuring out something. And as you can see, it's um, yeah, it's not easy to organize. Probably it's not a home for you, but it's a home for this guy. So he likes this room. He used this room, and this room is his life. It used to happen after I visiting and helping for these people, they can get help from the super or they can call a contractor to fix what I can with cleaning. I want to tell you the owner is in the hospital right now. Unfortunately, his health and mental condition is not good enough to live alone anymore. 
The reason why they ask my help is because they want a nurse, but they can get help if the conditions are bad in the apartment. If they can get a help, the owner can return back and this is what we want. Probably after my video you say this is not satisfying cleaning because you can see a very big change but imagine that guys this house is someone's house he spent his whole life here that's a home that's the only one place what he knows so I pretty sure he wants to come back and he deserves all the help and the family members the cousin is very very nice because they ask my help and they want to best for him this is very nice and honestly I don't care if some people think oh this is not a great cleaning it is this is the real life this is one to show you guys because this is what you can see most of the people showing very very amazing beautiful houses this is not the most beautiful house ever but it's a home for someone okay so this is what i was talking about before i don't know what it is i don't know why someone build these around the toilet i don't know the reason but it's here and it didn't make my job easier so i couldn't clean well all around the toilet anyway i try my best this is here that's it Um, even if I wash the floor um, yesterday, I just washed again because, you know, we was walking through and we wanted to put some carpet, some rug on the floor and I want to make sure it's clean as much as can be clean. And now it's time to show you what I did under one and a half days. Are you ready guys? Thank you. 
If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.